All right, guys, so welcome back to another one here today. It's gonna be a fun little video here for you guys. We're gonna be tearing up the white bass this afternoon. So uh, I just got the rods in the water. I just trolled over the first high. I caught one fish. I threw a waypoint down and uh, went back over that. And I just doubled up on both my down rods. So I've got this school of fish. I've got it pretty much isolated now, so. I would rather uh, I would rather jig these fish than I would troll for them. I mean, I could go back through over here, you know, 50 times now and catch fish, but I'd rather jig on them than I would uh, than I would troll them. So there's our nice fish. We're using a trolling method here to to find them. So there's the first fish there. That's a nice one. I'm not keeping any fish, but these are uh, I'm running number five and number seven flicker shads here. And then about foot and a half, two foot up, I'm running a uh, just an, a sixteenth or an eighth ounce jig with just a, a spinner and a little twisty tail. So there's the first fish. Let's get this let's get the second fish here. Just using line counter reels here on some uh, some cheap fiberglass rods, running straight braid. Use that fiberglass rod to kind of get a little give in that since I'm not running mono or anything. Pretty effective uh, trolling setup. There's the uh, there's the second fish of that double. The first one I caught came on the top jig. So I hit a waypoint and I was right on top of that waypoint whenever I had that double. So we're going to spin this boat around here and go back and jig on these white bass and this is a uh, this is a great time of year all right let me get the spun boat spun back around and uh we may go catch some two at a time here all right so i made it back to my waypoint here originally and what i'm targeting i'm targeting these highs and ledges on the main lake and what happens is is the water warms these white bass they feed super heavily on the little baby shad and so they'll drive those shad up as high as they can up those ledges and highs and then they'll bust them on top. And uh, that, I'm just targeting where they're feeding, right? So I just got the boat set right where I, or I got that waypoint, I shut it off, deployed the trolling motor there and I'm just gonna take this trolling motor, move it around a little bit and I'm just gonna anchor myself right on that waypoint. That's where we're gonna start casting. Uh, have an anchor feature really really aids in this so what I'm gonna use here like I said guys I know where the school is and I could troll for these for how, until I get bored with it but I'd rather jig them they fight real hard so this is my jigging setup here so what this is you guys watched the video where I caught the big head this is a slab spoon all it is is, is a is a hunk of lead a teardrop shape with a hook on the bottom of it I pour these myself uh, you know because they're kind of kind of pricey if you if you buy them pour them myself paint them white I'm running uh 60 pound mono up to a barrel swivel and then up to my 15 pound braid main line and about a foot and a half above the slab spoon i'm running just a 16 ounce jig with just a little curly tail or a, a spinner or a grub or it doesn't really matter just anything really uh we're gonna throw that out and we're just gonna beat the bottom with that slab spoon and those white bass, a lot of people target them busting the surface, but they'll actually stay at the bottom uh, until, you know, until they get time ready to feed. You can actually see them on your, on your sonar. And so we're just targeting the bottom. We're just going to rile that school up. It may take me a couple of casts to really kind of get right back on that school. But uh, once I do, it can, be, it can be two fish at a time, and it can just be a blast. They, they fight super hard. All right, so we made it to our waypoint here. Let's throw out. Got the boat positioned where you guys can see me, and let's see. So I'm just jigging this on the bottom here. I just want to make bottom contact, and it's a pretty aggressive jig too. Uh, I'm trying to get a reaction. There was a small bite. There he is, right there. There he is. White bass, a little smaller one, but uh, nice fish nonetheless here. 
So there we go. See if we can do it again. See if we're on a school. So what I'll do is I'll just take this boat and I'll anchor it, you know, kind of right on the, oh, that one hit it on the way down. So I'm, I got the school just right up ahead of me now. This is, this is good. There it is. There's another one. <laughs> this is going to be a fish every cast, guys. There you go. There's another one. Get right back out there. So I've got this school pretty well isolated now. This is this is what you want right here. So I'm right on that transition line. That's what you're looking for this time of year. There's another one. This school is running a little small. But there may be some bigger ones pop up in there. Nice little white bass. So this is what I say guys, this is uh, this is the time of year if you've got kids to bring a kid out because you can see, I mean, it's just, it keeps their interest the whole time uh, as long as you can find these fish. And you find them, there's another one. Find them with your side scan, find them trolling. And then I, like I said, it's so much fun to jig on them. There's a little better one right there. On the old slab spoon. There it is, there's another one. That funny looking hunk of lead, boy, it catches them fish. It's amazing how many fish you can catch on a, on a slab spoon. Uh, and it's just imitating a fluttering shad back there. I already hit it. Oh, what they'll do is they'll actually push it up and that's why I use that mono is so that way I don't get, get wrapped up. But uh, they're just so aggressive down there whenever there just gets to be a feeding frenzy. That, uh, oh, right here at the boat. We're gonna catch one, catch one right here at the boat. Oh, had him. <laughs> there he is, right there. Boom. They're just so fun to catch, guys. It's a, it's a non-stop. Non-stop. Fix my jig here. Like I said, they'll push your, uh, push your jig up. A lot of times. So I've got this school just absolutely dialed right now. I know right where it is. And uh, you know, having the boat anchored like that, it's just, uh, oh, there he was. So I don't think, I don't think I've won a cast without a fish. I'm just getting hammered down there. There he is, there he is. Oh, this may be two of them guys. This may be the double that we're looking for. Or it's one big one, one or the other. Oh, I think we got two guys. So there we go. Two at a time, guys. Two at a time, white bass. This one here is a good one. Two at a time. This is fun fishing. There's a nice bass there. I'm not cleaning these guys. You can clean them, they're great. You guys would like to see a catch, catch clean cook on them, I'll, I'll show you one. Uh, but I'm just fun fishing tonight. Take that jig, they'll booger them jigs up. So, it's taking, it doesn't take much. They're in there puking up shad. Uh, they're, they're feeding, you know, so. Really, really. Fun, enjoyable time, guys. Oh, missed him. So this is why I say I'd rather just, uh, I'd rather catch him jigging than trolling because 
it's just so much more fun. Oh, they're just down there just hammering it. Can't go one cast without it. Oh, I've got them all over me. There he is. There he is. Just a blast, guys. <laughs> I am on the school now guys I am dialed on the school so real quick here uh, I'm gonna cut this video off for a little bit because I don't know how interesting it is just catching fish after fish after fish but uh, let me show you what I'm actually looking at here I'll kind of give you guys an idea All right, so right here is my side skin. Now obviously I'm still, but you can see I've got fish all the way around me. And if I move, I could see those fish. And I'm just right on a high. You can see there's my waypoint and anchor mark. Uh, waypoint 2002 right there. And that's where I'm sitting just off to the side of it. And that's the pass that I was making trolling right on top of that, right on the edge, right where that transition is. So let me see if I can so looking at the live scope there, you can see those fish. Those are the those are the white bass. They stay mainly on the bottom. There's some shad up top, and uh, you know, pretty a uh, pretty easy method using side scan mapping, live scope. Uh, you know, using everything to your advantage. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna stay out here and I'm gonna catch fish till I'm bored with it. But I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, you know, I don't think white bass are, uh, you know, they're just a super popular fish, fun way to get out, enjoy, uh, enjoy the day, especially if you got kids. But they're just kind of an underrated fish. But every, everybody fishes for them, I don't understand that. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you would, leave a comment, hit that like button for me, I'd appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next video.